Hello friends. In this video, we are going to learn about an important antennas. Nowadays, wireless communications are taking up an important role in our everyday life. And to create smaller and lighter mobile terminals is one of the critical requirements for the development of future wireless communications. The parameters which best characterize the performance of a small antenna are the quality factor, Q, operating bandwidth, and the voltage standing wave ratio, VSWR. The lower the quality factor, the more broadband the antenna, the lower the VSWR, the easier it is to transfer power from the transmission line to the antenna. There are different types of antenna for different applications. Some of the common antennas are discussed in this section. Wire antenna. Wire antennas are mainly used in cars and TV where they are made of conducting wires. Therefore, the cost is usually low and fabrication is inexpensive. Wire antennas can include dipole, helical and Yagi UDA. It usually operates at low frequencies and they have low gain. Dipole antenna. This dipole antenna was developed by Heinrich Rudolf Hertz in the late 19th century. Dipole antennas are the most popular type of antenna. The evolution of a dipole is shown in figure. And an example of a prototype of dipole antenna is shown. Monopole antenna. In the early days, Monopole antenna were the choice for mobile phone applications and, they are still being used in countries that have limited coverage. The advantages of monopole antennas when they are used in mobile phones are Low SAR and high efficiency. The helical antenna, which is simply called Helix. It is first introduced and investigated in 1950. In the 1990s, Helical antennas were widely used in mobile handsets. They have the advantage of wideband characteristic, circularly polarized radiation and adapting less space inside mobile phones. This is how it looks. Some mobile phone companies have stopped using this type of antenna in mobile phone because Helical antenna is placed outside the handset, which can get broken easily by users. Let's get into the core antenna being used nowadays. In 1953 Desha GA was first proposed the concept of the microstrip antenna. However, practical microstrip antennas were developed by Munson and Howell in 1970. The numerous advantages of microstrip antenna, such as its low weight, small volume, and ease of fabrication using printed circuit technology led to the design of several configurations for various applications. With increasing requirements for personal and mobile communications, the demand for smaller and low-profile antennas have brought the microstrip antenna to the forefront. As shown in conventional microstrip antenna, it consists of a pair of parallel conducting layers separating a dielectric medium, referred as substrate. In this configuration, the upper conducting layer or patch is the source of radiation, where electromagnetic energy fringes off the edges of the patch and into the substrate. The lower conducting layer acts as a perfectly reflecting ground plane, bouncing energy back through the substrate and into free space. Physically the patch is a thin conductor that is an appreciable fraction of a wavelength in extent. The patch which has resonant behavior is responsible to achieve adequate bandwidth. Conventional patch designs yield few percent bandwidths. In most practical applications, patch antenna is rectangular or circular in shape, however, in general, any geometry is possible. Since in 1970s, Microstrip antennas have become very popular mainly for space-borne applications. However, now they are being used for commercial applications as well. To meet different design requirements, the patch can take different forms of shapes, such as elliptical dipole, circular, triangle, rectangular and etc. as shown. 
MSAs have several advantages compared to other microwave antennas. Some of the principal advantages are lightweight and low volume, low profile, planar configuration, which can be easily made conformal to host surface, low fabrication cost, hence, can be manufactured in large quantities, supports both liner as well as circular polarization can be easily integrated with microwave integrated circuits capable of dual and triple frequency operations mechanically robust when mounted on rigid surface micro strip antennas also have some disadvantages compared to conventional microwave antennas they are narrow imped and spanned with nearly one to two percentages low efficiency low gain Spurious radiation from feeds and unctions. Low power handling capacity. Surface wave excitation. Applications of microstrip antenna. Even though the field of microstrip antenna may be considered to be in its infancy, there are many different successful applications with continuing research and development and with increased usage. It is expected that they will ultimately replace the conventional antennas for most applications. Some notable system applications for which microstrip antenna have been developed include satellite communication, Doppler and other radar, radio altimeter, command and control missile telemetry, weapon fusing, man pack equipment, environmental instrumentation and remote sensing, feed elements in complex antennas, satellite navigation receiver, biomedical radiator etc. That's all for today's session about microstrip antenna. Thanks for watching.